In September of 2013, CT was rowing his way to the finish line of a challenge season. He and Wes looked to be cruising their way to a championship. But how did we get to this point? How did CT and Wes become partnered up? To answer these questions and understand just how monumental this moment is, we'll need to go back a bit. CT being in a final isn't shocking to anyone. In his previous eight seasons, CT had made the finals four other times. He was the rookie standout in season eight, The Inferno. He won four lifesavers, was one of only two real worlders to win an elimination. CT, we're not gonna be able to see your six pack after all these cookies. We won't be able to see Shane after all these cookies. <laughs> and he made the final. But unfortunately, his team came up short against the Road Rules team. In his second season, Inferno 2, CT didn't skip a beat. He won an extraordinary six life shields out of eight, made the finals for a second season in a row, but again, his team lost. For the next few seasons, CT either made a final, was eliminated right before the final, or was being disqualified from the season. CT was always looked at as the biggest, strongest, and most intimidating on any given season. He was also one of the most popular players among the audience but he just somehow couldn't cross the threshold to become a challenge champion until this season. Back in July of 2013, CT and 31 other contestants found themselves in Phuket, Thailand for the challenge, Rivals 2. This was CT's ninth season, a decent milestone for any challenge competitor, but for CT, it's kind of a miracle he was still being called for the challenge. 2009, on the Duel 2, CT came into the season under extreme stress and a bad mental state. Despite Season 17 being aired in 2009, the contestants departed for New Zealand late 2008, where a few months prior, CT and his family experienced a tragedy with the death of his brother. It's a button for my brother. I was actually about to go to New Zealand to do the Duel 2, so I wasn't in the right state of mind to begin with to even go there. On top of that grief, Sometime between Gauntlet 3 and The Duel 2, CT and DM had broken up. The two had met on Season 13 The Duel and had been going strong up to Gauntlet 3 when there were some rough patches that could be seen. Add drinks, a rivalry that had been bubbling up since 2003, and you have a combination for the most chaotic and infamous moment in the challenge's history. Please stop. You should have seen it. As this is going down, production is going. You guys break it up. They're like sitting there like 10 feet back on you guys do it. Now it's not like CT hadn't shown to be an angry guy in the past. Back in season 14, Inferno 3, he had been sent home after blindsiding Davis with a cheap shot. But the Duel 2's moment was much more traumatic to the cast and crew. So much so that during season 17's reunion, some of the cast made it known that they didn't think CT should ever be allowed back on the challenge. So if you think scary is on what you've seen, try being there. It was 10 times worse. I don't think that CT should ever be allowed back on a show. I'll open and say that. There were even rumors that CT was called for the next season, season 18, The Ruins. But once word got out that production gave him a call, many cast members voiced concern to MTV and even talked about pulling out of the season if CT was there. The idea that seasons passed without CT on the cast would lead the audience to wonder if he was banned from the show, never to return. That's until season 20. I brought a couple heavy hitters from back home. Where a surprise twist being the first moment of heavy hitters, which is a great way to describe CT, led to the reappearance of Chris on the challenge. The iconic moment still rings as one of the biggest in challenge history, and it opened up a gateway for CT to make his way back onto the show. The next two seasons were sort of redemption seasons for CT, having him paired up with Adam in Rivals and DM in X's. But not only was this redemption, but it was for everyone to reconnect with CT. He was still a beast in the competition, he still wanted to win, but he was a much better teammate. In Rivals, CT and Adam almost made the final, but at the very last moment, they were eliminated. Adam's poor performance had people question if he threw the elimination to bar CT from even having a chance to win. In X's, CT and DM went on a late winning streak to make the final, but the final was tough for CT. He just wasn't acclimated to the Icelandic conditions or the altitude. They would finish second behind Johnny Bananas and Camilla. 
Lucky for CT, this season was in a much warmer climate. No mountains in sight. And on top of that, he was partnered up with Wes. Wait, CT and Wes paired up? But in 2018, we'd see Wes invited to CT's Marriage MTV special. How would it be five years earlier, these two would be considered rivals? The first season CT and Wes would be on together was in 2007's The Duel. It was early in both of their challenge careers and at the time, each man had an incredible rookie season and each had been to a final. The major difference was that CT found success winning daily challenges and staying out of eliminations, while Wes won more eliminations but wasn't having much luck in daily challenges. And this trend continued in the duel. Through much of the season, CT and Evan would trade off winning challenges, all while Wes had to battle it out against Derek in a hotly contested pole wrestle. After that elimination, Wes knew he needed to put a plan into action to help his positioning in the game. He made a deal with Evan that they would look out for one another, and that they would want to go up against each other in the final. But to do it, they needed to lock in a plan. To ensure that both made the final, they couldn't pick each other if they were voted into the elimination. Instead, Wes said he'd call out Brad to face off against, while Evan should call out CT. The craziest part is not that this plan was suggested, but Evan agreed to it. Evan had no clue he'd have to pony up on this deal so soon, where in episode 13, he was voted in, and just like he agreed, he called out CT. A wave of instant regret hit Evan. He even tried to cheat at the elimination by drawing the puzzle on his arm. Wes, I'm sure, didn't care who was eliminated. A big threat was going home no matter what, but this time it ended up being Evan. Then in the next episode, DM was eliminated. DM and CT had become super close on the season. Their first kiss was even caught on camera. But with DM exiting the game, CT was now untethered. His comfort and biggest support in the game was gone. It would only be a matter of time before he'd go off on someone. Cue episode 15's elimination between Brad and CT. They were set up to face off against each other in the final elimination called Push Me a duel game that had a controversial ending earlier in the season when Beth was disqualified for accidentally breaking the rules. But instead of learning from that mistake or trying to fix it, production left the elimination as is, and wouldn't you know, CT rips the flag. CT had played a pretty solid season, and to be disqualified in the last elimination for something that was barely his fault is ridiculous. He protested the results first to TJ. Went for the Caribbean. All right. You, hit it on the you Caribbean. went for it, but it didn't work out. And then to Brad. It's in the rules. Why are you yelling at me right now? Knowing there was nothing he could do but show his frustration, that's what CT did. And that had Wes feeling the need to say something. Wes basically called CT a baby and even accused him of fake dating DM to get further in the game. To say things got heated is an understatement. Just get me out of here, T. Get me out of here before I explode. CT was eliminated, and Wes would go on to win the season. But this isn't where the rivalry story would end. Four years later, in 2011, the challenge rival season was underway. It was CT's first full season back after the Duel 2 and his hiatus away from the show. Wes was also back on the challenge. After his win in the Duel, Wes took some time away from the challenge to start his own companies and life outside the show. He then returned in season 18, The Ruins, but that wasn't a great season for him. Season 19 also didn't pan out very well. He wouldn't return for season 20, but was back on for Rivals. Now, just like the duel, Wes saw CT as the biggest threat. And I mean, he wasn't wrong. CT and Adam started off by winning two of the first three daily challenges. And with Kenny looking at his sorts, Wes felt he couldn't beat CT in the challenges. So he took him on mentally. Wes said he was going to target CT every time from here on out. That he was going to send CT home. And once you know, CT got mad. CT would go on to tell Wes exactly how he felt for hours and hours and hours. You want to send me home early? Take money out of my pocket? I would like that. Wes would retaliate by throwing CT's bed off the balcony. This season was quite interesting for these two pairs. It would almost feel like they would swap momentum halfway through the season. Because early on, Wes saw two eliminations, where then later on, CT and Adam would see two eliminations. 
In the end, like the duel, CT lost in the last elimination and missed out on the finals. But unlike the duel, Wes wouldn't win this season. In the final, he would get a giant alien cramp in his leg, then finish in second place. The duel and rivals individually were the peak of their rivalry. CT and Wes would compete against each other on Battle of the X's, but Wes was eliminated early, so nothing was added to their saga heading into Rivals 2. By Rivals 2, the quote unquote rivalry that was spurred on seemed to have dissipated. When they were in separate pairs or individuals playing for a championship, game faces were on. But together, nothing mattered more than winning. Really, Wes and CT paired up together was unfair. Both helped each other in different ways that made them a pair to be reckoned with. These two paired up never saw an elimination during the season. No one was willing to send them in or want to go against them. They had good strategy. They had a good social game. They won multiple daily challenges on their way to making a final. Fun fact, Rivals 2 is the only season Wes has done where he never saw an elimination. Every other season he's played on, he's seen at least one elimination. The two players grew close over the season. Once they were overtly against one another, now they were thicker than thieves. CT and Wes had a flawless season and got out to a lead in the final, and they never looked back. Hence how they're rowing up to a yacht with a golden statue in hand on the verge of making challenge history. Wes was about to become a two-time challenge champion a title that eluded him for some time after his first win back in 2007. Six years later, after elimination losses, breakups, torment, tears, and more rivalries, he's about to be handed a giant check from TJ for the second time. CT had been through it all in his challenge career up to that point. In nine seasons, CT had ended up empty-handed every single time. The highest he could get was second place a pat on the back, a good job, but better luck next time. When he wasn't making the final, he was getting in his own way and being disqualified from seasons. CT in over nine years since his challenge debut had experienced love, anger, heartbreak, loss, grief, uncertainty, redemption, friendship, and hope. And all of that led to this significant moment in challenge history. What up CT? been a long time coming. Congratulations, guys. 125,000 bucks. 